Hey guys, welcome to Max Electronic. I hope you're doing well this evening. And in today's video, we will be looking at this small uh, peer passive infrared detector that came with this 100 watt floodlight that I've pulled apart. It actually, um, it was part of it like that, but um, I needed a floodlight without it. And um, the difference was only like 50 cents. So I thought I'll get it with a sensor and get the sensor out. It wasn't easy since they sealed these days and you can't just unscrew them. And it's got a piece of a wire hanging out there, as you can see. Anyway, so stick around and find out the secret function that those are supposed to have. I'm not sure if this one does, but all the standard ones would have the secret function that most people don't know about. So here it is, that little sensor. Uh, let's have a look at the back of it. It's got your typical lux and time and uh, sensitivity. So we'll hook it up to a light bulb. It's actually raining here tonight, as you can probably hear. It's been raining for a week now. So anyway, uh, and we'll see if there's a secret function that I'm talking about that most people actually don't know about. So let's hook it up to a bulb. I've already got everything ready here. I've got a terminal here that is hooked up to a light bulb on the side. And um, we've got our neutral, our active, and our load is on the last one. So I'm going to wire this up. It's been wired. Um, I'm going to put the terminal away. So let's turn it on and see if it'll go bang, because I haven't turned it on yet. So here we go. Oh, that turned on. Let's uh, see if it'll turn off. I think it's actually set to maximum, so let's do this. I'll adjust the time and everything to minimum. So it's just turned off. Let's see if I can activate it. So I'll put the daytime a bit up. There we go, so it's activated. And here we go. Now it works. Now the trick I was talking about, so it takes us uh, roughly maybe 10 seconds to turn this light off. Yep, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn the switch quickly off and on. And what happens is the light's supposed to come on and stay on. So let's try this. So now the light technically is supposed to stay on and do not... Uh, Oh, it still turns off. So th see this one? It's not doing it. If you were to buy this light, uh, this uh, sensor or bigger sensor, they're usually bigger ones, from your local hardware store, what happens is they have two functions that people don't know about. So the standard function, you have your power on and it'll detect the movement and activate your lights and turn it off. Um, that rain is really hammering, excuse that. So, and activate the light. However, if you want the light to be on, what happens is you're supposed to turn the switch off and on again, and the light's supposed to stay on. It's not supposed to turn off, but in this case, this sensor ignores it and turns it off anyway. So let's, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Um, it works, at least. Let's pull it apart and have a look what's inside. I've taken it apart. It took a while. They sealed it very well. Uh, so I had to cut open around the perimeter here. I've taken that standoff off, uh, which is good to see they're using rubber seals everywhere. Now that plastic bit comes off. As I said, I had to cut it open. It's got just a lens on there. And we've got a little circuitry, which is a bit interesting. So if we have a look up close, we can see a MOSFET in there. Uh, but it's not driving the output, so let's get it out. Oh, that was, that is a bit, there we go. The only thing I think, they sealed it very well with everything else, but the only thing I'm concerned about is those little pots. They don't have, um, you know, any rubber seals by the look of it. They're just in there, so the water may get inside through that. So... Looking at this, we've got bridge rectifier. Now, looking at that first, you'd think, okay, we've got a bridge rectifier and a capacitor, and that supplies our primary voltage, you know, for the cheap. It's a standard cheap with a uh, peer sensor. 
So it's got three wheels as usual, sens sensitivity, time and the daylight. It's got a little photoresistor in there, plenty of capacitors. And uh, the MOSFET, but MOSFET is not driving directly the output. So what happens is, there's nothing on the other side by the way, it's just blank. What happens is, the MOSFET is actually shorts out that um, bridge rectifier. So we've got uh, both of AC current coming in, and we've got positive and negative, and what happens is it literally just shorts out positive and negative, and that's your um, output to your lights. A very interesting way. Besides that, there's nothing unusual about this circuit board, so um, yeah, that's, that's it. I'm going to put it back together, put some silicon and see if it works again. That's it for tonight. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like to support us financially, you're welcome to sign up to Patreon account. That's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. My name is Max. Bye.